Well, hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to Playframe, and welcome to Worldless. This is an indie game that just came out pretty recently, this year, and it's really interesting. I feel like some of you are really going to like it. It's a very just unique feeling mix of 2D platformer and action, but turn-based, I'm not going to try to explain it. Let me show you. Start game. A new one. I've only seen the first few minutes of it, so a lot of this will be a surprise for me, too. What impresses me even more about this game, though, is for having a very simple, kind of minimal visual look, it really achieves an impressive sense of majesty and sort of grandiosity and scale despite that which is hard to do. Like, you see what I mean? Just in the vibe of it? Like, that's not easy to pull off. Like, like before I even move forward further here, just, like... There's a great sense of importance and, like, majesty to, uh, to this so far, like I said. And it's been really interesting just as a creator, as someone who works in games, who's an animator, who, like, works in narrative in games, like trying to pinpoint exactly what about this is achieving that. Because I think you need a mix of things to achieve that. You need you, its sound design, its music, its the choices with the pace of cinematography and events like th this is a game that really takes its time. And I know that I'm kind of padding that out by rambling here, but like it's it's got a very slow pace that's not trying to, like, fight for your attention, but it is inviting it. It's like that majestic sense requires some level of engagement and investment in the viewer. And creating that this early on with relatively few elements impresses me. Well, let's start moving again. Jump with A. But like, you see what I mean? The, visually, this is very simple. It's well done, but it's very simple. I've seen lots of indie games, 2D indie games, that don't have more complex, high-fidelity visuals than this but don't look nearly this interesting and engaging. And there's some really good animation in this too. Again, despite the simplicity, you can kind of see a taste of it back there. Even with these simple shapes and simple characters, the timing and spacing of the motion, the nice arcs, the use of particles to kind of accent motion and leave motion trails, like, They're taking sparse elements and using them very well to create 
a great sense of atmosphere. Okay, so here's a combat tutorial. On the offensive turn, attack within your time limit. Physical attack is the A button. So it's our turn. Let's just spam A to attack while we can. Okay, we're out of time. Now it's the defensive turn. When your offense time is over, prepare to defend against enemy attacks. And it's the same button for physical guard, except you hold A. Hold. All right, now it's our turn again. We can use a magical attack with X. And they're weak to that, okay. Uh, defend against enemy attacks using the correct type of guard. A magical guard involves X, so A to block physical attacks, X to block magic ones. All right, so far so good. Oh, now we can just attack with whatever we want. Okay, out of time. Oh, that was a physical one. I got a little shredded there. That's fine. Whew, still messing me up. It's my turn now, though. So it takes a few fights, I feel like, to start kind of figuring out the rhythm of this and how it works. I'm getting flattened here, though. And I really like the abstractness of the narrative so far, too. You can kind of feel a loose sense of what's happening, even without any specific details. Oh, hello. What is this? Another failure. How are you existing outside your clouded nature? You can see me. Press Y. You understand me. Still too young, without a purpose other than attack. Reject. Your kind is weak. Why did they look at you? Uh, start button? So, that little web network thing that got created is a map, which is really cool. So, let's see. It's all very vague and nebulous, but... I'm really loving the mysteriousness of it. Let's go here. Let's look at what we've got here. So a very simple constellation shape here and a more complex one that looks like it has branches, but also has sort of like an objective point here, an orange one. And orange seems to be the color of my enemy. And here we are, back in blue space. So if I click in the right stick, that shows a little uh, map display. A mini map, but from like our map is in our head, which makes sense. That's kind of where our brain is, huh? 
And now we can kind of like see the full map here if we just hit start at any time. Ooh, what have we here? One of four things I need to grab. Being held by what looks like sort of a skeletal hand. Oh, got a wall here. Okay. What's that? Is that... Does that, like... Have anything to do with the map here, like my location, or is that something else? I don't know, I love the mysteriousness of this. Trying to figure out what it means, and I feel fairly confident that before long, a lot of these things that seem super mysterious and unknowable now will make way more sense. Okay, we got a butterfly. I was going to attack it with magic and physical. A visual cue will warn you from the type of incoming attack. Horizontal flash warns of a physical attack incoming. So, all right, let's try doing that. Physical attack. Okay, cool. I appreciate that visual cue. Two of them. Nice. Ooh, my shield only lasts a couple of hits there. Every time your guard breaks, your shield resistance will be weakened. Use the appropriate guard just before the enemy attack hits to uh, execute a perfect guard and avoid deteriorating your shield. So... Almost Sekiro-like with sort of like the emphasis on perfect parrying. Or perfect blocking, rather. And there was a perfect one and an imperfect one, but yeah, the shield held that time. Kaboom! What do we got? Can I do anything with it? Oh, if I hit Y. Oh, I fight you again. Okay. Physical seems to work a little bit better. And I can get in a lot more of those hits in my turn. There is some really nice, simple animated motion on these attacks with the sort of blur trail behind weapons and stuff like that. Very minimal, but still flashing. It still feels like there's something more to do here, but I'm going to keep going. Ooh. Uh, yep, that's a wall. Okay, but there is also another one of those little collectible things. And the skeletal hand does seem to be sort of moving still. Moving, but like fractured. Interesting. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, okay, if I hit Y near those little flashing points, it does things. There's another one. Gimme. What's going on back there? Oh, another little conflict going on between the blue and the red. Absorption. Attacking the enemy and filling its tank to the threshold will allow you to absorb the opponent for new skills. Break the enemy's blocks by using the correct type of action. Attacks will deal double uh, their absorption damage while enemy blocks are broken. Gotcha. Okay. Break their block and I will do way more absorption damage. Let's start with physical. See how that does? Not super well. We'll do magic next time. A visual cue will warn from the type of incoming attack. A vertical flash means magical attack incoming. Okay. Okay. Too early on the block, but that's fine. I'm going to hit you with magic instead. Ah, that's working a little better. And then I can pelt you with some physical ones. Okay, absorption. Hold down the bumpers. Possible inputs to complete the absorption process are Y, X, A, and B. The more you fill the tank, the easier the absorption will be. Let's try. 
Once it's my turn. Whew. Absorption. Ah, so that's absorption. All right. B, A, unknown for those last two. Fill the absorption tank as much as possible to reveal all the inputs. Oh, okay. That's cool. So I have to guess if I haven't filled that tank all the way up. I could still guess right. But, uh, that's... You see how clever this is? It's really interesting. A really unique mechanics to it. A unique blend of several familiar mechanics. I'm impressed. All right, well, let's see if we can fill up this, uh, meter here. Ow. Whew. Close. Nope, too slow. Okay. Fill it up. Whew. Okay, they're even showing me in the bottom right corner, I just realized. They're showing me what shield the enemy has up. So a physical shield, break that, okay. There we go. Absorb. I think we have, well, here, we'll fill it up all the way and then, all right, absorb. Gotcha. Oh, that was nice. They just did it automatically because <laughs> I'd have been able to see all the buttons anyway. So cool. I absorbed. And now a skill tree? It is. Oh, this is neat. All right. So several of these, it looks like I have already, like this sword combo. Just A A A. Uh, perfect timing. Chain any action with precise timing for a boost on absorption damage. Oh, nice. Time a physical attack at the end of a basic string for an extra strike. Cool. Okay. Didn't know perfect timing on attacks was a thing. Guarding. Uh, we've got this one. It negates incoming damage. Physical or magical guards must match the type of incoming attack to work. Destroyed layers recover after one turn if guard has not been impacted. Okay. Uh... Guard with correct timing to avoid damage and not deteriorate the guard. Dangerous fusion type attacks can be perfect guarded with any guard input. Okay. Um, so we've got one little blue gem that we can spend. We need an orange gem to get one like this. But okay, options include lightning chain. So, okay, like we have kind of like a two lightning magic combo. This would bump it up to three. That might be worth doing. Uh, layer plus, both for physical and magical guard. Oh, so another, a third layer. So I could withstand three imperfectly blocked attacks that way. That could be beneficial. Perfect guard bonus time adds extra time for the next turn when perfect guarding attacks. That's kind of nice. Or break bonus, recover time when breaking an enemy block. Oh, have even more time to push the attack. Boy, I want all these. Let's do that one. Might help us end fights even faster. Nice. Okay. Hello. Ooh. Are you missing one? You are missing one. Where'd it go? Or maybe I can do... Hmm. Wait. Oh. Oh, that worked. Nice. All right, I'm only short one. Uh oh. Hello. What the? Oh, no. I'm angry. Ooh. What do they want me to look at? Oh, I think they wanted me to look at the uh, map. Okay, okay, yeah, they're showing me. I have fallen down, but this map loops on itself. So I'm on a lower level here, but if I could uh, get back up there and keep going to the right, it would loop me around to the far left side of the map where the enemy is. Or they might be saying, 
Uh, I don't I don't know what the green particles necessarily mean, but they might be showing me that uh, the enemy is over there now. I need to figure out a way to get over there. I don't know why they're flashing on that bottom left circle toward the center. Like maybe that's the next destination I should uh, go looking into. Maybe. Let's figure out what we're doing down here first. Uh, this way. Ooh. Oh, can't reach. This way it is. Really loving just the cool little patterns that are kind of growing behind me. Hello. Oh, I've gotten a new ability. A dash. Nice, okay. There's a little bit more Metroidvania feeling to this as well, with kind of the open map that you're exploring and getting abilities. More than I realized. Let's see. Oh, up an RB. Okay, um... That works, too. I like that it... There's something very cool about a Metroidvania that is both... about, like, advancing your character avatars skills and getting them new skills that allows you to get new places but it's also about kind of slowly untangling the puzzle of what the game is and how things in the world work so it's player knowledge also kind of increasing what you can do and where you can go that's really cool I'm, I'm trying to think if there's another metroidvania that's operated that way on that sort of a uh, get to understand what is happening around you and how the world works, and that uh, increases your ability to explore. I really like it. Ooh, absorption. Hey, I got that one for free. Interesting, wait, so okay, so I can see these empty little pips uh, on the map as well that uh, represent where something that I could, could uh, absorb possibly is. So like, uh, there was a blue one above my current location that I got. This orange one down below I just picked up. If I head back over to the left on my way back, there's an empty white and an empty orange one that represent things that I could probably absorb. Okay. Let's start heading that way. A neat game. Whoa, no. I got distracted for a second. Not looking where I was going. Now I'm going the wrong way. And back up. Over. Over. Up. Nope. Not up. And over this time. There we go. Over. Activate. And over. There we go. Activate. That's cool. So where am I now? Okay, over here, and there's a thing. Gimme. Oh, it's a fight. Oh my. I did that completely wrong. Ow. 
Oh, it's like a test. It's not even like an enemy. It's like a pattern that I gotta... Okay. Blocked like one of them. Must do better. So it's like, it's physical and magical alternating, I think. If they're doing the same pattern each time. Let's try it again. Not perfect blocks, but I did block them all. And now I can... Okay, yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot to be able to hit you. So I just gotta survive the first round. Or I gotta block everything. Not perfectly. Then just get in a hit or two and then I can absorb. Okay, I'm getting it. There we go. Absorb. Yeah. New skill. I should spend some of those. One of each. A charged attack with the sword. Okay. Uh, guard impact. Ready a guard impact by guarding or perfect guarding several enemy attacks. Only on physical or dangerous fusion type attacks. Adds extra time for the next turn when guard impact is successful. Okay. Interesting. So just guarding very well or perfect guarding uh, on physical attacks will give us a little extra time in the next turn to counter. Interesting. Let's take that one. And then also... Uh... Let's go ahead and get a full lightning combo as well. Okay. Neat. Now we head back. And try to get out of this cave. More fights going on back there. Can I reach that high? Not quite. Ooh, this. Oh. Oh, leading me up here. Oh, I have to keep up with it. Okay. Haha! -ha. Did it! Mine. What's it do? Oh, it increased my life bar. Cool. Can I reach? Hmm. Maybe from up here. Eh, not quite. Wait. What are you? So it seems we can just sort of absorb defeated corpses as well. Uh, let's increase our... Well, what does this do? Oh, okay, that allows for a charged uh, magic attack. But let's get this uh, increased perfect guard time. I feel like that's going to help a lot. Okay. And you? Ooh. Oh, I need to find and activate all three of these to break through. Okay. Is my guess. Uh... Hmm.
I'll take one of those. Ooh, I need six now for the next upgrade. And now I've opened that. Uh, I'm here now. There was that butterfly enemy that I haven't absorbed. You. Rematch. Repeated actions penalty. Performing the same action over and over will diminish its absorption damage efficacy. Overused actions efficacy will recover a bit every turn. Variety of actions is encouraged to build the absorption tank easily. Okay. And we do have like a combo. So maybe doing like a full combo physical and then going magic and then kind of uh, alternating might be the way to go. Maybe. Let's find out. Now. A little slow there, it's fine. All right, blocking okay. Kaboom. Uh, okay, so... I need to absorb you before you've been fully, like... defeated. Interesting, okay. Might be that I need to get like some upgrades that enable me to do more absorption damage to outpace kind of the, uh, yeah, I think I need more abilities that'll like increase the absorption damage I'm doing so it outpaces the physical damage I'm doing. Interesting. Like it's possible I could pull off and absorb against that thing now with enough skill. But probably a lot easier later on once I've, uh... gotten a few more abilities to work with. Ooh, what are you? Yep. Hmm, okay. Can't do anything with that yet. You? Another test. Oh, a tutorial, rather. It's like perfect timing. Did I do it? I can't tell. I think no, though. Too early on that one. Hmm. I need to get that... I think they're wanting me to get that combo right with the uh, three perfectly timed attacks so I get that bonus attack at the end, right? Like, uh... With the, uh... Which one was it? Yeah, chain any action with precise timing for a boost on absorption damage. Time a physical attack at the end of the basic string for an extra strike. That's what they're wanting me to do so I can actually hit the enemy. And I'm just not being quite precise enough yet. There it is. Now we absorb. Cool way of teaching things. Mmm, another layer or greater absorption damage. I guess I got a charged physical attack. Oh, I don't have that yet either, do I? I don't. And that one doesn't do absorption damage either, so this one seems like the one I do need. Would that work on the butterfly, I wonder? Where are you? Charge magic attack? Uh, 
Ooh, charge magic attack with perfect, like, timing as well. Ow. Okay. It won't be perfect, I gotta guess a little bit, but B, X, X, A? Yeah! Success! That's very cool. What a cool system. A charged sword attack just seems to do more... Let's see. So, like, I'm trying to actually, like, take better note of the, uh, symbols up top there. So, like, it shows both the physical damage, uh, that the ability does, and also the absorption damage over there on the right. So, like, perfect timing does, like, some physical damage, but more absorption. Uh, a charged sword attack does more physical than absorption. Magic, uh, basic attacks do kind of the same the same charged ones do very little physical, but way more absorption, so that's good to have. Uh, a counter, only after a successful guard impact. Okay. Which kind of just does a little bit of both damage types. Interesting. And yeah, charged sword attack is just for more physical damage. Let's get that one, too. So... Alright. Let's head back. There's another missing pip. Uh... Somewhere back... Hmm... Further to the left. Maybe up here? I'm in the right area. There's a thing up here. And a fight going on back there. Blue wins? And turns green and... Huh. Not sure what's going on back there yet. Oh no. Didn't realize there was more of a charge on my uh, <laughs> dash. Needed to let it refill. Good to know. Looks, my, looks like my head does like a little bit of a small flash when the charge is ready again. Or when the dash, rather. You know. Okay. So, dash, refill, dash. And... Oh, hello. Break that guard. Okay. We're filling it. What? I don't even know what that was. Ah! Didn't block that one. Absorb it, or try. Why? Nope. A. Oh, it even, like, gives me some time to guess. That's nice. Okay, so I can try spamming... <laughs> I thought if I just guessed the wrong one, uh, it would instant fail, but no, like, it just, uh, waits until I hit the right one of the buttons, so if I've only got one button left to guess, then I probably have enough time to where I can <laughs> find it before I run out of time. That's cool. And now, I- ooh! More available. So, we could get the counter or... Ace Cut. Ready a technique by connecting several sword actions. Seems like that's a pretty high skill ceiling on this one, on this game in general. Sword release. Release the button when the charged attack connects. Oh, nice. 
Ace cut is very high on the damage if you want it. Huh. I'm torn. I guess this is more likely to happen than my perfect guard timing. Let's grab this one, I'm curious. And use this one with Y. Okay. I feel like I'm advancing down these trees pretty quickly. Wonder how long this game is. There was a thing. Was that another one of the things that was going to start, like, uh, get three of them to open the door? Maybe? Hmm. Well, that door wasn't that far back here. Let's look real fast. Ooh. How do I get... I don't know. Huh. Now I'm just getting myself lost. Now we got a limited time here. Let's let's go back through the door. Toward where we were being sort of directed on the map. Oh, hello. I saw you. You were challenged by your own kind. Even they reject you now. You can absorb, yet you do not change. How is that possible? I don't know. I barely know anything. What are you? Hmm... So how would I... Perhaps if I keep looking back this way... Ooh. Hmm. Oh. Okay, I think this is where... This is the path they were uh, leading me toward. What's in here? Different vibes, I like it. Ooh. Hello. Oh, very interesting. This is a way to go back and challenge past enemies. Again, I think. Yeah. So, like, if I selected that one... Interesting. There we go. And then absorb, and then win. Cool, just for the practice of it, I guess. 
Nice. Ooh. I collected that, but... I don't know what it is. And yeah, this is just sort of a small little area. But I collected a green thing. Maybe that's a key that'll get me onto a different path of some sort. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, you again. I don't remember when it all started. Those from above, they know all. We must call on them. How? What do they want? Anything more? No? Alright, I'll let you think. I notice this one has a little pip now. Okay. Need to collect more green things. If I'm not mistaken, going one further, yeah, this is where my next objective is, but it do not open for me. This one do... But there's nothing really for me there. No, like, upgrades to be gotten, rather. I think maybe I need to... try going back to the first area and seeing if I can jump over... the chasm I got dropped down into before. That is my hunch. Hello. This is the one, right? Uh, wait, not that one. Uh, no, one further. This is the one. So if we head straight through... We should wind up... Back at our encounter... With orange... Oop, can't go that way. And we should be able to dash over... The gap now. Also, I feel like we should be able to... Here we go. Gimme. Nice. And dash! Yeah, okay. What awaits? Ooh, different little pop-up pattern. Something for me. Yes. And even more options now. The counter. The sword release on the charge, or... Divide. Ready a technique by connecting several sword actions. There's some very high damage options. Which is interesting, because thus far it feels like... Absorption has been the thing that, uh... They've wanted me to sort of prioritize and learn to do. I'm guessing we're going to start running into enemies that are much higher health. Where absorption is less the, uh... Less the goal than simply defeating the enemy, or maybe it will take a lot more work to break through shields to be able to do that absorption damage or something. Well, let's go ahead and grab this counter one. Hold Y, and then A, after a successful guard impact. Okay. That one seems tricky. 
Ready a guard impact by guarding or perfect guarding several enemy attacks, only on physical or dangerous fusion type attacks. So I need to use Y to guard instead, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I've got a lot to learn on this one still, but... Now grab it. Hmm. Hello. Oh! More health. And that was just like a... the equivalent of a full heart instead of a piece of heart. Interesting, now we're sprouting some of these little red ones behind us. Oh. Cool. And we're on the other side now. Enemy territory, is it? Does seem to be built a lot more of, uh, orange diamonds. Thank you. This is really neat, I'm impressed. Ooh. How to get up there. Hello. Whoa. New thing? Ooh, a new branch? Skills have specific damage and absorption damage values. Check each skill properties in the skill tree. Right, okay, so I, I'd sort of figured that one out already. The bow, if you hold left bumper, you've got a combo with that too, and that does more absorption damage and has evasive properties. Cool. So there is a lot more to be learned. How cool. What a neat game. I am impressed. Uh-oh. Blocked you. Uh -huh. What is that? Did you just create hazards for me? Because I feel like that's going to hurt me now if I go close. Yipes. Bow hits. Oh, my shield. Oh, I had to, like, break those first to get at the enemy. That's cool. Ow. Build up that meter. Ah! Now my shield. Break through. All right, next turn, I'm getting you. Now, ow. Absorb. Y, Y, X. Ah, almost. All right, I effectively blocked you this time. That's nice. And you got a lot of health back now, so that's good for me. Ow. All right, that just kind of went right through the... Uh, Little shields, that's good. Now. Yeah. 
Okay. Ouch. Oh, I'm near dead now. Boy. Oh, hitting those was hurting me too. I see. I didn't realize. I challenge you again. This time I can beat you. I know it. There we go. Alright, yeah. We just gotta sort of like stun it first and then those two won't hurt me on the way in. Okay. We're getting it. Yeesh. So focus, ow. I wonder what the up arrow means. Is that I don't know. Maybe if I use a skill of some sort. Nice. Ow. Still. Almost got it. Eh. Try absorbing. A, B, A, A. Gotcha. Yeah. I did it. Boy, this game's cool. What a neat idea. Whoa. We swing. Uh. Ah, I missed. And water bad. We're gonna need, like, wall jumps or something. Hello. Okay. Filling up the bar. Getting there. Ah, wrong kind of guard. All right, absorb. Gotcha. Getting the hang of it. But I really should go ahead and call it now. <laughs> uh, it's very fun, though. Highly recommend if uh, this looks interesting to you. And it is very interesting. I'm impressed. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I will see you next time for something else. Take care until then. Goodbye!